Hey guys, it's Pulse with Pioneer and I've got a video walkthrough for you on setting up Tractor for use with a DDJ T1 controller and DJM 900 mixer. Uh, the why of this is if you wanted to use the 900 mixer as your audio output for your controller, let's say you want to use a couple of turntables or a couple of CDJs as well, that is a likely scenario. So uh, here's how it's done. Open up the preferences of Tractor. I'm using uh, Tractor 1 T1 edition, which is what ships with the T1 right now. It should apply fairly similarly to all other versions, including Tractor 2. In your audio device, you're going to select your DJM 900, and of course, this is assuming you've got that uh, connected by USB. Output routing. You're going to select external mixer because that's what you're using and go down and uh, set your outputs accordingly. If you are using a CDJ, for example, I would be inclined to put my CDJs on channels 1 and 4 and then have uh, only two channels from Tractor and channel A and B from Tractor would be then outputs 2, 3, and 4, 5. And that's just going to use the center channels on my mixer whereas the CDJs are going to be using the hardware outside channels. And that's just a personal preference and if you want to set it up that way, great. So the other thing you need to do then is to change the input selectors on the hardware. So I've just brought this up so you can actually see the, the physical changes uh, being made reflected in software on screen. Um, I'm just rotating the input selector knobs on the top of each of the channels uh, across their various inputs. I'm going to select USB. And I'm selecting USB across all four because we're just demoing that uh, you can do this quite easily without having to change any assignments. Uh, my controller is already set up for the T1, which is what I'm using. If you wanted to add mappings from the 900, you could do so as well in here. It's just a matter of going into your generic MIDI. Uh, I can uh, just delete the one that's already here. I can click Add. Uh, oh, sorry, I've already got generic MIDI. I add an input. Uh, just for uh, argument's sake, we'll add a play pause. And I'm going to click Learn. MIDI is on on my mixer and I just press the channel 1 fader start button and it's picked it up. So if you wanted to map other things from your 900 you could to anything you want. Uh, so let's close that off. Now you'll notice because you're in external mixer mode there are no faders on the uh, the channel fader area here or there's no cross fader. External mixer doesn't require those but all of my EQs and everything still do work internally as well as on the mixer itself. So if I turn my low down on channel A, I will be cutting the audio, but I could still do that on the 900 itself. So let's load up a track. And let's on the B. Okay, so playing through, channel one of my mixer is now lighting up. Okay, play this one, that's channel B. So that's it. It's very simple to get this all set up. If you guys have any other questions or need some assistance, don't hesitate to hit us up on the forums. I'm Pulse, and that's your how-to.